Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. As promised, here is a deep dive demo of the organs on the Yamaha CK. Let's initialize the sound here. And then we press the organ voice to load it into the first part here. And it says H, which is referring to Hammond. Yamaha aren't allowed to say that, but I am. We've got the rotary simulator switched off at the moment. This is what it sounds like, dry out of the box. Let's just dial down a bit of the verb there. There we go. So if we focus here on the left hand side, we have available to us vibrato and chorus and very important part of the B3 sound, the Hammond B3 organ. It's on C3, chorus three by default, which is the most popular setting. Let's see what it sounds like. You can hear how it adds some presence and of course that very lush chorus effect. It really warms it up and thickens the sound. This is great for your comping sounds. Let's uh, try that right now. So we've got the draw bars here as well. I did a video all about the Hammond organ draw bars and how to use them. So check that out if you're interested but I'm just gonna dial in eight, which is all the way down, about three, four, and then eight, everything else pushed back, which is my favorite kind of comping sound, accompaniment sound, which you typically, typically play on the lower manual of the organ. With the chorus off. Another sound that's really popular is the first three out. This is the Jimmy Smith sound, and then we'll have to add percussion to get that authentic tone. This gives a little ping to the beginning of the sound. If I disengage the draw bars, push them all in, you just hear the effect of the percussion. We have different harmonics, we have fast or normal, soft or normal. This gives a nice percussive ping sound at the start of your lines. Let's put on a bit of drive, overdrive. Remember no Leslie simulation yet. We can really crank it. We have distortion as well. Wow. Without the chorus. So that's basically the controls there of the organ, the Hammond organ that we're looking at now. We'll dig into the combo organs shortly, but I think you all want to hear the rotary Leslie simulation, a really important part of the Hammond organ sound. So let's engage that now. We simply press the speed button here and now it's engaged rotary A, which is a tube amplifier connected to a Leslie cabinet. The Leslie, if you didn't know, has a rotating speaker for the high frequencies like a horn that spins around and then it's got a drum that spins around for the lower frequencies for the bass notes see if you can hear both of those in action here's the front of the cabinet and as you can see nothing too exciting except that it's actually quite a nice piece of furniture you can also notice these uh, cutout strips at the top and at the bottom and uh, that's where the sound uh, comes out and uh, we'll take a look from the back side and see more what's going on here's the back side of the cabinet and as you can see behind the strips that you saw from the front so up here you have these horns down here something looking like a drum and here's an amplifier and there are two uh, different speeds there's a slow speed 
and uh, fast. And you most often control this either by uh, a switch which, which is mounted on the left hand side of the organ or through some kind of pedal on the floor. And I've switched off the vibrato chorus now. In fact, let's pull out all the draw bars. And let's engage the rotation. Stop it. I'm clearly hearing the sound of the rotating horn and the drum, which is great. And there's a lot of drama and stereo width going on here. It sounds really nice. Let's engage the fast. Listen out for the sound of the horn speeding up and the bass drum speeding up. Bass is still slowing down. And stopped. Sounds pretty nice to me. Let's try out Rotary B, which is an emulation of a transistor amplifier with a much more rocky and grungy sound. And let's engage the rotation. Fast. Stop. On one of my earlier demos, I was attempting to adjust the rotary speed using the mod wheel. Doesn't work here. It's kind of a convention, so I'm surprised that that's not possible. Perhaps it's a setting in the menus, but this just adds vibrato. It's slightly out of the shot, so you can't see it. So don't make the same mistake as me. You have to press the button here. We have many other organ models as well. That was just the Hammond. In depth, we have V, which is Vox. With that awful vibrato. I'm not a big fan of the combo organ sound. These are the transistor organs from the 60s. They had tabs, I think, to adjust the equivalent of the draw bars. Here you can continuously adjust them, which I suppose is a good thing. I have no idea how to set up the draw bars on a Vox. But someone asked me to demonstrate it, so there you go. Even the percussion works. Then we have F for Fafisa. Another one, we have A, not sure what that is. And we have Y, Yamaha, yes, Yamaha. Had some pretty popular combo organs as well back in the day. In fact, the very first keyboard I ever got to play, my parents had a Yamaha Electone in the house. A 
electronic organ, which I had a lot of fun with. So those are your combo organs. Then we have a whole bunch of church organs, pipe organs. These, I think, are sampled so the draw bars have no effect. So let's play through some of those. Even accordions. is a real noob. Why did he upload this rubbish? I think I'm going to write an angry comment. Oh, I need to demonstrate the Hammond organ with the expression pedal as well, because that's also an important component of the Hammond organ sound. I've got one connected up here. Let's get a bit of drive going on here as well, the rotary simulation. So I'm rocking my foot, you can't see it, but you can hear it. And I'm hearing it's adjusting the amount of drive in the signal, which is what we want, that's a good thing. The swell pedal on a Hammond organ is not just the volume, it affects the tone and the amount of drive going to the preamp, or in the preamp. And I'm hearing some of that, but it does go all the way down to silent, which a real Hammond organ doesn't do. One thing I've noticed whilst doing some research for the video is that you don't get any control at all or ability to tweak the parameters of the Hammond organ engine, the tone engine. For example, on the YC, I can adjust the speed of the rotor on the Leslie simulation, the acceleration times, the same thing for the drum of the Leslie speaker. You can adjust the volume or the levels of the percussion, the depth of the vibrato chorus and so on but you don't get anything like that here. What you hear is what you get. One other thing I've noticed when using this, I like to set up a split so you can have the lower manual of the Hammond organ. Remember a Hammond organ has two keyboards above each other. You can have the lower manual here, which you might use for walking bass lines and playing chords, accompaniments, and then the upper manual might be where you put down a solo. You can do it here as well, but you'll need to use up two different parts. So you'll need to put the lower manual on part one, the upper manual on part two, and then configure each part with the drawbar settings, percussion, vibrato, chorus, as you like, and then define a split point. So that works fine, but just keep in mind that each part has its own effects. So you'll need to kind of dial in and match the effects on both parts, because obviously a Hammond organ would be going through the same speaker and so on. Uh, that's perhaps a little bit cumbersome or you could see it as an advantage because you can here dial in completely different effects for the upper and the lower manual, something you can't do on a real Hammond organ. So there you go, I'm digging the Hammond organ model here as well, even though it's not the same as you get on the Yamaha YC. This one is inherited from the Reface, it still sounds fine to me, perfectly serviceable. For a gigging musician playing in a band, you might not want to record your very own Jimmy Smith tribute album using this, perhaps, but it gets the job done, I think. And of course, we have a choice. If you want a more realistic emulation, then we've got the Yamaha YC, which does allow you to even tweak the parameters of the organ to fit your own particular preferences. <laughs> Thank you.
more time, see if you can really hear the different speeds of the high frequencies and the low frequencies. We can even stop it completely. Sounds really good to me. Why don't we take a listen to the next one? Before we do that, actually, we have this control here, which I would think is going to adjust the drive. Yeah, a criticism of the early rotary speaker or the rotary that was included on the Yamaha YC when it launched was that it lacked a bit of the stereo spread and the excitement and the drama that you get when you ramp up and down the rotary speed, but I'm hearing it here. This sounds really good. And I've switched off the vibrato here as well because that muddies up the sound of the spinning rotary, I think, but I can switch it on if you want to hear that and some percussion as well. So that concludes my demonstration of the organ section of the Yamaha CK. Please do check out my other videos if you're interested for deep dives into the piano section. And also some tutorials and my final thoughts and wrap-ups of this video series. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheerio.